In other news, the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation, or FBI's Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, has put in his papers. McCabe, who is scheduled to retire from his post in the agency, has announced that he will give up his day-to-day -day duties a month in advance. His early exit comes amid reports that he was allegedly pressurized by President Trump to quit. Trump had earlier criticized McCabe for favoring his 2016 Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton. Meanwhile, the White House has clarified that the president played no role in the decision which led to the resignation of uh, the FBI's second-in-command. Good afternoon. The president has applied pressure to is to make sure we get this resolved so that you guys and everyone else can focus on the things that Americans actually care about. And that is uh, making sure everybody gets the Russia fever out of their system once and for all. He's been fully cooperative and is going to continue to be fully cooperative. In fact, we've gone above and beyond many times and certainly uh, done everything that we could. The White House has provided over 20 witnesses and tens of thousands of pages of documents to the special counsel. We have done everything we can to be fully transparent, and we're going to continue to do that throughout the process. The U.S. President is preparing for his first official State of the Union address. The theme of the Trump speech will be building a safe, strong and proud America. According to reports, Trump will touch upon several policy areas including jobs and the economy, immigration, infrastructure, trade and national security. While addressing reporters on Monday, President Trump said that he will put forward his proposed immigration overhaul and will seek support of the Democrats. The speech will also cover his efforts to lower trade barriers around the world for American exports. It's a big speech, an important speech. We cover immigration and uh, for many years, for many, many years they've been talking immigration. They never got anything done. We're going to get something done. We hope. It's got to be bipartisan because the Republicans really don't have the votes to get it done in any other way. So it has to be bipartisan, but hopefully uh, the Democrats will join us, or enough of them will join us, so we can really do something great for DACA and for immigration generally. Uh, but it's going to be, I think, a very important speech on trade. Uh, the world has taken advantage of us on trade for many years, and as you probably noticed, we're stopping that, and we're stopping it cold, and we have to. We have to have reciprocal trade. It's not a one-way deal anymore. So uh, we have a lot of things to discuss. 